Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Snap. I'm DJ Cinnamon Bun and this of course is Pokemon Snap. In the last episode we went through Valley on our first run and got majority of the Pokemon and we managed to miss Mankey at the end of it at the end when he was standing on top of the mountain and we also missed Goldeen so we're going to be going back to yes. this level ever so quickly maybe get some better picture of, the, uh, of some of the Pokemon and hopefully hopefully get get the Pokemon we need it to pretty well get the last couple in the game honestly I don't know I don't know if doing this was an accident. Oh, I'm so sorry, Squirtle. I'm so sorry. Ah, he comes right back. He's a trooper. Hello, <laughs> We also noticed that these mountains oddly sort of look like Doug Trio. picture of Jude. Like that one. That one was nice. It sounds like he's saying Ratata. I'm not the only one that thinks that, right? Oh. Huh. Maybe maybe he's just a very confused Pokemon. It happens, you know. Outside he may be a sand shoe, but on the inside, he's a radical. Whoosh, whoosh! Yay! It's like a little tiny waterfall. Unfortunately, we can't actually do anything about these gravel right now. We, we can just look at the backside. <laughs> I don't want to see no stony backside of a graveler. This is also really slow. <laughs> Wish it could be faster. Oh well. Almost got the third one. Ah, what, what can you do? Be better, I guess. Backside again. Oh crap. I haven't got Goldeen yet. Shit. <laughs> Oops. Um. Now. Yes. That's what I wanted to do the first time. No. I want. No. I, no! Huh? Oh. I'll hit you. So hitting that button, unlike the other times we've hit a button in this game, it actually doesn't unlock a new area, per se. It actually unlocks a cutscene. So. Oh! Of sorts. A surprise to see me here. You knew I was coming here. What are you talking about? Is this where you got got to know about Pokemon bowling? Is this is why is this why you're in the valley? Pokemon signs hidden on the island. Hmm. Some, something important. The signs are scenery, so maybe that's what. Yeah, the mountain that, that looks like the trio. So, what this basically means is we're going to have to go back into the other levels and find these other Pokemon signs. N no, no Wait. thank you. I do. Oh, I thought it was something important. You're just adding another page. Never mind. <sighs> well. I know it's not great, but I like it. 
So now we get the fun task of actually going back through some of these levels and finding these hidden Pokemon signs. Like you said, there are, there is one in in every level. It's just a matter of finding them. Not to say I will be able to find them, but yes. I'm probably going to be able to find them. I have played this game once or twice, you know. Oh, just the same old stuff. I'm so happy that one's better. This should be a better picture. Oh yeah, way better. Way better. Well done. Thank you. I can't win them all, I guess. Well done. all these Pokemon, so it's not, not too much that we're missing. 58 kinds of Pokemon. So close to being done. So close. Yeah, come back. Something to make my search for Pokemon signs easier. Finally, this, this is so helpful. <laughs> this is the DAS engine, and, and as he's going to tell us, it actually makes us go faster. So instead of just slowly cruising along and in the levels, we can actually speed right through them. So in, um, we're going to go back through all the levels in order and get all the Pokemon signs. And hopefully when we come back to Valley, I can actually get a picture of the fabled, the fabled Goldeen. Yes. So let's jump back into Beach and see if we can't find that Pokemon sign. So, um, just to quickly show off the dash engine, this is how much faster we move. It's, and, until we get hit by a Pidgey, which somehow makes it stop completely. We actually move considerably faster. Now if we look to our left, we actually see this rock formation, which sort of stands out because of this large wooden structure back here. So if we keep looking back at it as we go across, take a picture of it, it's a sign. And I won't, I won't spoil it, but you should probably be able to guess what Pokemon that is. Uh, what, uh, Professor Oak will actually tell us when we're going through pictures. So until then, I guess we'll just speed through, maybe. Can, can we get a uh, Cyclone? Nice Cyclone. Uh, it doesn't look like it. You know, actually, when, when I was running back through this game, I had the hardest time making Cyclone appear. But apparently not now, I guess he'll appear right in front of my face as I'm saying I couldn't get Cypher to appear. Once again, we can't do anything with these Pikachus. I mentioned that in a much earlier episode. Um, it's not until we have the last item of the game can we actually do anything with that. But that is a special picture, I believe. At least, I consider it a bit of a special picture. I get both of them to appear. Really? I went through this level like three times and I couldn't get him to appear for the life of me. I'm just saying now. <laughs> I, I, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you don't have that DAS engine and to get just over halfway through the level and find out you can't get Scyther, it's a bit of a bummer. Here's our Pokemon sign. So let's get another look at it before Professor Oak tells you what it is. You know, I sort of like this. I guess this is actually a... Actually, no, I won't take that one. I'll take this one, but this is actually a good time to show off the uh, album mark, since I do like that photo. Uh, we can go back into the photo, and if we say yes to this, it'll put an album sticker on it. And it'll save all the pictures of Pokemon that we put album stickers on. 
regardless if it's a better picture or not. And obviously he's not going to judge it because it doesn't have the oak mark on it. So let's head Professor Oak and show him that Pokemon sign we found. He's not going to tell us what it is. So, I, if you couldn't tell, that's actually the. Uh, Here is a present for you. Pokemon Kingler. Sorry, it took me. I was trying to read and think at the same time, and just threw the threw me all off. So, for getting so many points now that we have the Das Engine, we get the Poke Flute. This is actually really important in getting some of the. Uh, Pokemon signs. There, I believe we only need it for one of them, but there's other things we can get with the Pokemon flute now. No, you don't have to repeat the information. Oh, let's go to chorus. Yes. Now we jump into the tunnel and see if we can't find the Pokemon sign here. The Pokemon sign here is actually probably about halfway through the level. And it's something we haven't been able to actually activate up until this point. Just wait. Oh, you come back. Hi. Can, can I move? No? Okay, I guess I'll just sit here for a little while. Don't don't mind me. I just wanted to get moving. Zoom 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 zoom. I can't I can't express how much I how much I really like that dash engine. It's just so useful. So getting this uh, Pokemon sign, there's actually a bit of a series of events to doing it. First thing, we need to get this Pikachu close to this egg. And use... Hopefully that's close enough. Nope. Nope. Come on, Pikachu. Closer. Closer. There we go. That should do it. And that makes the egg hatch. And then inside, it was Zapdos. Sorry, I I realize it says Zapdos weird. It's just how I've always said it. I realize it's Zapdos, but I've always said Zapdos. I don't know why. Just something I do. See, with Zap Zapdos, with Zapdos uh, using using electricity, he actually automatically turns on these signs for us. So. And now these uh, Electabuzz are actually free to walk around, which is kind of neat, because you don't see them walking around too much, otherwise they're just waiting for the TV to turn on, really. So you might be wondering, well, what about the Pokemon time? We've gone through this level so far. There it is! Um, that electricity he turns on, turns on this projector, and the items are arranged in such a way that it makes a picture of pincer. So now we'll just we'll use the dash engine and we'll skedaddle our way out of here. Even with the dash engine with some places, it still goes so slow because it gives you so much time to take pictures of things. Like I recognize it's important and blah 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 blah, but I don't need that much time to take pictures of magnolites. happy with we we've already got two of the Pokemon signs. Well done. Thank you, Oak. Wonderful. See, I don't understand oh. how he can't give you really high points on the legendary board on the legendary bird. Just because when he has he ever seen them before? They've been up they've been in eggs up until this point. Just saying. Welcome back. So in the next episode, 
we'll, we will be going into the rest of the courses, hopefully finding the Pokemon signs in Volcano, River, Cave, and possibly Valley. And until then, see you in, it's been DJ, until then, it's been, I've been DJ Cinnamon Bun, and I'll see you next time.